Okay, so uh, I've been trying to get this all set up and situated here for some time now, but I it's um, it's been tough here this morning. Let me turn this off for a second and um, load our game up. Okay. Okay, welcome to what I am calling uh, the, what am I calling this? I'm calling this the Culpepper Crowd. And uh, it's, uh, it's a new series that I'm starting. I'm calling it the Culpepper Crowd. And it's based, it's not based, it is, um, story uh, focuses on four families of couples, four households of couples who live in the Culpeper Apartments, and that's why it's called the Culpeper Crowd. Okay. So there's four families, four apartments in here, and there's four uh, couples living in here. Um, there is Miguel Dutrino and his wife Raquel, uh, Raquel LaFay, you may remember her, and of course you remember her. Um, the Gentile household with Tracy Viernes and her husband Chadrick Gentile. Clemens uh, household, Jack Clemens and his wife Zena Ringwald, uh, Poindexter's, Dwayne Poindexter and his wife Bubbles Goomba. So the four of them live on this floor uh, in the Culpeper Apartments and I think it's I think it's the ninth floor that they're on. Um, and um, I, there's you know, I could go into a lengthy explanation of what's going on, but I think it's probably best if I just jump into it and then just go around and to the different families and uh, and fill in uh, information as I go along. But uh, before I do that, um, I want to um, take a tour of the different towns and show you who lives in, in, in who lives where okay so we have the four couples that I showed you living in the Culpeper apartments then um, we have um, the, uh, in the in media media studio apartments um, this is where um, Dobbs James Dobbs lives with his wife and his two daughters okay so things have greatly changed uh, from where we left off in episode 11. Uh, he is now married and he has two daughters and I'm going to explain all of that as we get to it. Um, but we're, if you look at episode 11, which is the year 1980, the year is now 1999. So roughly 20 years have elapsed uh, from where we left off at, at that at the end of that pr uh, printed um, episode 11. Um, so let's just go around to the different uh, neighborhoods and um, point out where everybody lives. So in this, I call this Universe 4. So it's, uh, the concept is that there are multiple universes. Universe 3, Universe 2, Universe 4. And um, for this story, um, there are different uh, people, different types uh, of groups of uh, Sims living in, in Universe 4. Uh, some of them are what I call doppelgangers, um, and they um, they are copies or doppelgangers of the families who lived in uh, the history of twin bios in Universe 3. And those families are the Ringwald family, who lives uh, in a very nice house in uh, Willow Creek, uh, the Poindexter family, who um, they, they also live in a fairly nice house there in Willow Creek. Um, LaFay family, they're living in the, the old um, Ophelia something family. Uh, the, uh, house, I believe. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name, the stock uh, character's name. Goth, the Goth family. They live in the Goth family's house. Okay, so those. Uh, I'm going to set this family here as uh, 
on plate. Um, so those are the only active. Oh, then I have the Brady's, the Brady bunch here, which is the I got this out of the gallery, so I've added them into here. Uh, the rest of these houses are occupied by uh, just uh, townies, uh, sort of as fillers. Um, they will, can be, and will be evicted uh, as ne as needed. Um, okay, so that's Willowbrook, and then uh, in Oasis Springs, um, I have the Goomba family is living here in Oasis Springs, and it looks like the two daughters have moved out. I know where one of them is. I have to find the other daughter. Um, I'm going to mark this family is unplayed also. Um, uh, the mark is unplayed by clicking the, uh, the plumb bob here in the corner. Um, here's the Gentile family. Um, as I pointed out, one of the daughters is living in the apartment, Zena. So uh, Ronnie, uh, Donnie, and Don are living at home. This is the Dutrino family. This is uh, Mikolos Dutrino. He is also now married and has uh, children, grown, ch nearly grown children. And one of his sons is living in the apartment. Um, Mumbach. Okay, so this is a woman who was dating Dobbs earlier, Dobbs James Dobbs, when he was working in the police department. I'm going to mark her as unplayed also. Tr what was her name? Trina? Trini? Fuego? Tr um, the Stony family lives here in an another house in Oasis Springs. Vierne's family lives here. Um, Tracy, one of the daughters, is living in the apartments. Um, all four children are still living in this house with Stony family. And um, then we go over to Windenburg. Here I have. Uh, okay, here's uh, Mihe. And Catherine Lafay uh, and their two children, Bree and Dominic, um, they live on the island, one of the island over here. They kind of um, want to stick, stay by themselves on this island over here. Uh, Mark, this one is unplayed. Um, and this is uh, these are refugees. Uh, they come from uh, Universe Two. So I found in the gallery that somebody had uh, made uh, up uh, Sims from the uh, from the Sims 2, and in uh, Veronaville and Sims 2, there's two families: the Cap family and then the Monty family. So I put these just gigantic mansions that they live in here, and I put the families in in those mansions on these two large lots in Windenburg. But here's the Caps, and here is the Monty family. And then there's um, Juliet and uh, her mother Cordelia and her father, I um, can't remember his name. Um, they actually live in an apartment building, a really nice apartment building uh, in the San Machuno, mm, I don't know, arts or fashion district. Um, and then, okay, so um, skip San Machuno for a second and go to Newcrest. Uh, let's see, mark this as unplayed here. The ones that I have marked as unplayed are going to uh, just age up on their own without any uh, interaction from me. The Clemens family lives here. Um, Jack Clemens and um, his wife. Zena live in the apartment building, so that there's uh, the two daughters, um, uh, Janny uh, and son Tam, and the other daughter Colleen uh, live here. Back, still live at home with their parents. 
Uh, and they're kind of going around what it's done in the cities. Like Newcrest is the uh, empty city that you populate on your own. Uh, I put some rundown buildings in this uh, neighborhood here. So this is kind of a rundown um, neighborhood. Uh, there's a church here, which I call M M Mission Dolores, but it's it's marked as a museum. Uh, but they can get they get married they can get married in there. Uh, it has altar and uh, the wedding art. Uh, there's a Hogan's Burger bar Barn here. There's a bar and grill that I built called Dino's Bar and Grill. Uh, this was owned by uh, Dobbs and Nicholas when they were both living in the same house. And uh, it's sort of become the headquarters of Dobbs' um, Democratic Party which he's started for his political career. Um, there's a, a convenience store that I got from the gallery I put over here in this corner, and then there's a head shop, Happy Hippie Herb, Herb Shop here, which is kind of cool. It's a re Both of these are retail. Um, built a gym, Tranquil Crescent Gym, and uh, there's two restaurants here. One I call the Newcrest Resort Hotel, this is kind of cool because I said, well, I, I wanted to build a hotel where, and I'll show you this later, where people uh, as members of clubs would have access to the rooms in the hotel. But how to do that was, how do I do this as a hotel? I have to pick something. Uh, so I thought, well, a spa, but if it were a spa, everybody would be running around with t wearing towels. Um, so I came up with the idea of making it into a restaurant, and it actually works uh, quite well, and I'll, and I'll show you this later. Um, there's another restaurant um, called Alfredo's and Sons. I found this in the gallery. I can't remember if this is one that comes uh, with, um, you know, from Maxis or not. Um, there's this lounge called uh, Halvesies, which does come with Maximus, and it's it's one that's meant for this lot here in Newcrest. Um, Oracle Point Spa and Cinema. Uh, it's a spa with a movie theater in it. Um, I built this. It's supposed to be an old um, residence. Uh, it was turned into a spa. Um, other things that I've done, I'll show you as we, uh, I'll point them out as we come to them. In uh, Magnolia Promenade, um, found this really cool um, uh, shop or mall I guess you would call it called uh, it fits on this large lot in uh, Magnolia Promenade uh, it's called the old pier shops and more um, this uh, retail store is uh, modified from the original um, and uh, then I added these from the gallery pink candy bakery and electronics uh, store um, now if I go back to Oasis Springs, this area over here, uh, I modified f from the original, these buildings here. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what was here, or I think there was a gym here, I believe, uh, that's become, found this uh, bistro, Latente uh, Bistro, um, found this retail, it looks like Walmart, uh, I call it Oasis Mart, or yeah. Or maybe whoever built it called it Oasis Mart. It was built for this lot. Uh, I found this really cool um, theater that somebody built. I found this in the gallery, Oasis Movie Theater. It's it's set as a cafe, but that really works out well because uh, for the uh, snack bar area in the movie theater. And there's two theaters in this building. Um, this was a museum. I thought there was. I got the sense that there was like too many museums, so I took this building, this museum building, and I changed it into a retail uh, out um, store. Uh, and the Gentile family owns this um, retail store. And then uh, I'll go back over to Willow Creek. Uh, this is still a museum, but it probably won't keep this as a museum. This is a library 
Uh, there is another nicer library in um, Windenburg. So um, these lots, uh, I will change them to something else uh, as we go along. The Blue Velvet Nightclub still stays. I modified the Blue Nail Nightclub to add a uh, club room into it, and you'll see that later on. The uh, This was uh, a gym called Movers and Shakers. Um, it was, I, thought, I felt like there was just too many gyms, so I changed this into a cafe. And um, there's a restaurant here called the Sunnyside Up Diner, and then another um, restaurant that I call Home of the Good Burger. Uh, from the movie um, and uh, then let's see what else we have here in San Mich not San Michuno uh, uh, Windenburg um, this building was a gym and I changed this into a restaurant slash hotel which I call the Harbor Quarter Inn um, and what else did I do oh then uh, this restaurant here I think was one of the ones that came with Max Maxis and it fit in here nicely. It's a nice, very nice uh, restaurant. Um, and then over in San Michuno, um, there is, this was a residence here called the Old Salt House. And it just didn't make any sense for this residence here. So I found a, a, a somebody had built a, a restaurant for this lot called the Old Salt House Eatery. And that fits in really nicely. So those are the changes that I have uh, made and, and the people that I've added in here. And um, in the next video, um, we will be dig digging deeper into um, these different families and uh, how they all interrelate to each other. Um, so that is um, the end of episode one, I guess. Yeah, let's make it the end of episode one.